For the first time, Governor Ige is offering a time frame for when the state's mask mandate might be lifted, the middle of next month. This comes one week after the CDC's surprise announcement that for those fully vaccinated, masks were no longer necessary in most settings. The governor told our Howard Dushevsky he understands the potential for friction with tourists who refuse to wear masks, but for now, he's standing by his mandate. In my conversation with the governor, I started by asking if he was caught off guard by the CDC's announcement a week ago. It definitely uh, came without notice. And, uh, you know, we're on a weekly call with the White House, and there was no indication that that was in the works. And clearly, we were concerned about what the impact of that announcement would have on vaccination rates and people getting vaccinated. If the CDC had given you ample warning and maybe said, June 1st, if we continue to trend the way we're trending, would that have changed the way perhaps that you would have reacted to their decision? Yes, I, I do think that that would have been different. You know, we, we know that we need to work with businesses and organizations as we make changes to the mask mandate. Uh, and we continue to see increasing numbers of vaccinated. And so that's, you know, I think the great opportunity to move forward. The governor says his greatest concern remains not being able to know who's vaccinated and who isn't. And although he recognizes it could create a friction point for visitors to the islands, he says the numbers don't support lifting the mandate yet. But he's hopeful to do that by the middle of next month. We are emphasizing at the airports uh, as people come in, you know, there's a lot of signage announcements being made that Hawaii does have a mask mandate and that people need to wear masks. We're encouraging all partners to remind all visitors that we ask them to be respectful of um, our community and what we're trying to achieve here, which is really a healthy and safe place. One of the challenges you've said all along that you're going to follow the science. The CDC comes out last Friday and says, okay, no longer need to wear masks. So why not follow the science? We are fo following the science, Howard, and as I said, we decided to keep our mask mandate in place at that time because the majority of our community was not fully vaccinated, and we are making progress every day. I also asked the governor if there's an argument to be made to perhaps reward those who did get vaccinated versus catering to those who did not, seeing how many of them may continue to simply flout the rules anyway. We are looking at that, uh, Howard, and we uh, have a lot of discussions. You know, we've been working with the business community about how they can help us get more people vaccinated, uh, incentives that they uh, may be able to offer vaccinated individuals. Uh, you know, we're making progress in uh, being able to recognize those who are vaccinated. Finally, on the question of allowing trans-Pacific travel for vaccinated people without the need to be tested, the governor says he's still targeting the 4th of July. Now across the country, we're getting to 40, 50 percent fully vaccinated. Um, and we do know with the CDC guidance that there's little risk. We know that we have to get there. We have to be able to uh, allow vaccinated travelers to come here um, trans-Pacific because that will help us get more people back to work. And if you're wondering if the governor is listening to everybody's concerns and opinions, well, he left no doubt. My two daughters are coming for Memorial Day weekend. So I paid, I paid for the testing. You know, they're still stressed out. They respect, you know, what I have to do. Sure. I mean, they certainly will tease to some extent, and they wish that I would um, drop it. And I'm glad that they want to be back. Um, and hopefully they get their test results in time. Howard Dyshevsky, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.